the yo-yo. It may look like a kid's toy, but this 21st century version is used for competition sport. How does this device pull off gravity-defying tricks and effortlessly return to your hand? Deceivingly simple on the outside, this miniature machine is packed full of surprises. Silicon O-rings grip the string to accelerate the spool. Precision balanced aluminium rims produce extra spinning momentum that rotates the yo-yo as fast as the blades of a jet engine. An intricate ring of ball bearings cut friction and make impossible tricks possible. The secret to keeping a yo-yo stable in flight lies in how engineers build and balance its intricate parts. Workers at this Florida factory must distribute the yo-yo's weight evenly on both sides. First step, cast two identically shaped halves. Okay, so today we're gonna to be setting up a yo-yo. Master craftsman Arnold has spent seven years building yo-yos. He forms the two halves of the yo-yo inside precision-engineered brass molds. This is your mold, and your mold is going to be filled with molded plastic that is going to form the yo-yo. The specific design that we're looking for is going to be created in this little cavities here. He needs a precise setup to squeeze molten plastic into these tiny spaces. And this is what a complete setup look like. And now it's ready for the processing, which would be in the injection molding machine. Arnold's mold must withstand 80 tons of pressure to prevent any injected plastic leaking out. It weighs over 200 kilograms. Okay, our next step would be our raw material. And it's like little pellet forms. That's gonna be melted and shut into the cavities to create your yo-yo. The machine melts the pellets at 260 degrees. He then pumps the molten plastic into each cavity. Too much or too little in each mold, and the yo-yo won't balance. Clamps open. If you look at these, this is what you're looking for. Perfect finish. A balanced design allows a yo-yo to throw and return smoothly. But to perform the ultimate tricks, the yo-yo must keep spinning at the end of the string without slowing down. To do this, the yo-yo contains an ingenious device smaller than a penny. Ten steel balls roll between the inner and outer rings. They work together to cut friction between the layers. As the string grips the outer cylinder, the inner ring can keep spinning at full speed, as fast as the engine of a Formula One car. This brilliant bearing can keep the yo-yo spinning at the bottom of the string for over 10 minutes. To generate even more spin, workers add extra weight to each half. The heavier the yo-yo, the longer it takes to slow down. These are for the outside of the yo-yo to give it more weight for the stronger spin and better play. Peter uses aircraft-grade aluminium to sculpt special metal rims. They must be accurate to one-tenth of a gram so the finished yo-yo spins true.
they don't fit snug enough, then the yo-yo could be out of balance and the little weight on one end could throw it out. Workers assemble the yo-yo and add an axle to hold the two halves straight. A quick spin makes sure the two halves balance perfectly. These super-fast yo-yos can't guarantee success, but they do give players a fighting chance.